welcome you for this DT presentation on design thinking approach for design of patch antennas. So we know about uh, patch antennas that is it is used for low profile application. It means uh, for uh, example we have a microwave frequencies. So for the design of patch antennas at microwave frequencies we need a small wavelength. So we need to design a patch antenna in a printed circuit boards on the separate of dielectric material. So for designing a patch antennas, we have to consider the performance and also size of the and cost of the antenna. So we are going to discuss the DT based approach step by step. So discuss with your team and then give your ideas. Now we can start with empathy. Uh, we have en engaged with uh, engineer system designers and end users through interviews and surveys to understand their needs and challenges with patch antennas. We also observe how current antennas are used in the field, identifying pain points and areas for improvement. Our analysis of design and existing design highlighted the need for more, more compact antennas, specific frequency bands and better performance and under environment factors like temperature changes and obstructions. These insights were guided as guide using developing patch antennas that are used only uh, innovative but also meet real world requirements. When it comes to the design part, uh, to synthesize the uh, information, collecting and, uh, collecting and analyzing the data to pinpoint common statements, themes and constraints, uh, which helps to understanding the problem statement clearly from all the answers. Once we have uh, concluded the problem uh, uh, understanding uh, clearly, uh, we might enter into the problem statement uh, uh, which helps to understand the uh, problem clearly. We, uh, uh, it's for example, we are creating a uh, patch antenna, we might to develop a compact and uh, compact high performance 5G frequency range and which withstand in all frequency. This helps our uh, project uh, goals and focus to ensuring the uh, problem statement clear. Here I am going to discuss about the ideate part for the problem statement. Uh, in this ideate part, the actions come under are a brainstorming session. The brainstorming session, different type of sessions are conducted to get a various kind of ideas and uh, statements from the uh, viewer sites. And the next, uh, the next step is to get um, uh, uh, sketch and a prototype. Uh, by sketching the different designs and uh, different diagrams and creating a many prototypes which helps to get a uh, good antenna and good antenna design. And the next step is technology scouting. In the technology scouting, different types of technologies, uh, designs and materials are used to get an uh, advanced version of antennas. For example, uh, we can use a meta version and meta materials to get a uh, quality antenna. And the next thing is to get um, proper and uh, uh, good quality of antenna in this. Now I am going to discuss about prototype. In prototype, uh, three steps are followed. First, build the prototype. Test the prototype. Uh, iterate based on prototype. First, build the prototype means uh, the prototype should be built uh, in example for uh, pat in patch antenna. 3D printing and uh, simulation softwares are built. Uh, in testing, uh, the built prototype should be tested. Iterate based on prototype means uh, the tested prototype and the result and tests are, uh, are the feedback of the iterate. Next the examples are in patch antenna the embedded turning mechanisms are used to um, temperature adjustment, uh, frequency adjustment. Next the in a patch antenna the environment adjustments are uh, improved using uh, so let's see about the testing part. The main objective is to validate the prototype through rigorous testing and user feedback to ensure that they meet the user needs. So let's see its actions. One is the performance testing to evaluate the prototype under controlled environment. This is to collect feedback, gathering feedback from the user and the stakeholders about the antenna's performance and areas of improvement. Let's see about the testing scenario. Testing antennas in urban region with various with various signals and testing its durability under different temperature and humid conditions. 
Lastly, we are going to see the implement. The object of the finalized design required for production and deployment. Finalized design is to refine the design by uh, using the output gradient and um, we feedback them into the uh, required standards. The next is production. In production, we need to work as the team to scale up the production and uh, for deployment. Uh, to deploy the uh, batch of electronics, uh, provide them by the supporting it and as maintenance. Uh, the examples of uh, implementation are uh, by providing the technical support and documentation to uh, end to end users and uh, automated systems. That's all. Thank you. Thank you for discussing your ideas and the same thinking approach. So DT approach uh, applies to user centric methods and also uh, clearly defining our ideas and also giving a better solution for the problem. So we have taken a patch antenna design problem and you have given your DT based approach. So thank you for discussing. Thank you.